All right, this is a Briar Blue 1972 convertible. This color is code correct. You don't see it too terribly often. But it's a pretty nice color. Dark, but not too dark. We got some Corvette Rally wheels here. Uh, probably older trim, link, trim rings. Paint's not in bad shape, but it does have your average chips and scratches. As you can see here on the door, I've been rubbing it at one point. Gaps on this car aren't perfect, but they're really not too terribly bad either. You can see the bottom's a little bit narrower than the uh, top here. And go around the back here. Chrome's actually not too bad on this car. I mean, it doesn't look brand new, but it doesn't look bad either. So we come around to the driver's side. Pretty similar condition. see any real severe cracking up here. This is a pretty common place for these cars to crack right up here around the headlights. It doesn't look too bad on this car if anything, just real slight stuff here. Well, the interior on this car is not great but it's not bad either. Uh, door panels are good for probably a daily driver car but you can see there's some waving in here uh, seats could probably use to be recovered uh, I don't see any major tears or rips but definitely had their share of use probably want to put some new foam in here as well if you're going to recover these uh, now we do have a split here on the passenger side I believe that is the worst of it as far as the seats go uh, dash is pretty much intact. I don't really see any major cracks in there. Uh, carpet looks older, but it's not particularly bad. A little bit of fading and some wear. Nothing really awful. Uh, we do have a aftermarket cassette deck in there. check out what we've got under the hood all right this is a numbers matching engine it's of course a 350 uh, we do have our ignition shielding in place which is good to see and it looks like somebody's added some chrome metal brought valve covers uh, alternator looks somewhat recent judging by the paint Looks like we've got power steering down there. Uh, coating on the manifolds on the exhaust doesn't look too bad. But, uh, for the money, this is a great car. It's really well priced and it'll be a real good, easy way to get started into a C3.